Welcome back, folks. The Let's Play Edna and Harvey The Breakout. And we last we left off, we're trapped in the church with the Keymaster. The Reverend is dead, killed by the Keymaster's hand, and he's locked up all the exits so that he can never be free again. Which means that we'll never be free again either. We can't let that be because we need to get out. We need to get to our home and clear our father's name. Which means we have to get the key master out of the way. We don't want him to be able to escape as well. We don't want him to repeat what he did to the Reverend. And I think I know how we're going to go about doing this, and it's going to involve what we did with this bell. When we rang the bell using the mallet, the key master was extremely angry at the loud noise. We're going to have to make more noise if we're going to have any chance of getting out of here. And I know a place where we can do that. The key master threatened to go up there and deal with us if we rang the bell again. But it seems like he's content at the moment just to sit there and look at the church. Which is good for us. We're going to have to do stuff here. And that's probably going to involve these headphones that I refrained from using on points where I knew they would probably be lost. That is the tape deck and this hatch. Let's first use them here. They're now plugged in. Let us use the tape deck. Thanks to these headphones, I can't hear the tootling anymore. That's handy. Then again, if you didn't have it on, you also wouldn't hear the tootling. All right, I'll take it again, but I'll leave it plugged in. The cable doesn't seem to be very long, though. Doesn't seem to be very long, implying that we're going to have to do something with the uh, headphones plugged in. Can we use the headphones on the organ? No, the organ isn't even a point where we can uh, use the headphones. But I bet we can use them here. Okay, the headphone cable is long enough to get to there. Can we now take the headphones back? We can close the hatch, though I don't think that's going to really help us at all. Can we pick them back up? There's nothing in there, except an air column. Okay, the headphones are now trapped in there, so we put them in the right place. And I just want to confirm something. I see a green light there lit up. If I go back downstairs and all the way back to the front of the church, wasn't there a green light on... No, it's a red light. Okay. Maybe the green and red light thing doesn't mean anything, uh, in the sense that that red light is just showing that it's on, and the green light signifies that the organ is on. They don't need to be the uh, same coloured light. Puzzles can sometimes involve things like that, after all. I can actually check by uh, using this and pressing this button, and then going back. Okay, that didn't change. That does nothing. Okay, so what keys do we have here? We have B, C, and then they all just start going up as they would on a normal piano. I did take piano lessons, I got all the way to uh, grade 3, so I can read sheet music, which really helped in deciphering uh, what the uh, sheet music in that book was. But we're just going to go through every single key, starting from the left and working up to see what happens. Let's begin with B, the lowest note. Oh, that did something! That has been pulled up the pipe to where the key master is. I'm surprised that worked, considering that the uh, cable didn't seem very long to begin with, but maybe it's longer than I first thought. They're now up here, and they can't be interacted with, so let's head back down and go back to the organ. And we'll press this one now. C sharp indeed. We're slowly climbing up. A little bit higher. Higher still. Also, what does this... C 
Sounds like someone playing the guitar. Is that you, Harvey? Hey! Don't make so much noise down there! If you don't stop doing that, you'll create feedback! He's right. The strings are vibrating in harmony with the organ. Ooh, okay. I think I know what we need to do. We need to play something that's so loud that it will create feedback. The game is pretty good at uh, saying what you need to do. So what does this do? I don't know. If I press that key again... Nothing seems to have changed by pressing this switch. Fair enough. Let's just, uh, start pressing all the other keys to see what they sound like. What they sound like should be pretty predictable, considering that this is a, uh, standard organ, uh, layout. But I just want to, uh, hear what they sound like in the game. That one was replicated with the amplifier. Okay. Then we have that one. And this one. This is bringing back my piano lessons in, uh, vivid memory. So, we have the B-flat here. Then B. That's also replicated by the guitar. What else do we have? C? That one, this one, that one. So we'll press the rest. There aren't that many. There's C. It's reminding me of doing the, uh, C scale for the first time. You didn't press these ones, but all the other ones you did. There's C sharp. Here's D. And finally, this key. No, that's not the right one. This key. Actually, that is the key. D and... Yeah, won't actually let you press that one. Okay, so, the ones that we need to press, and I imagine we have to get them in the correct order, without pressing any incorrect keys in between, are as follows. E. The first strum of the guitar. Then, we need to press G, avoiding F. Then we need to press A. We're getting there. Then we need to press B. Rocks. Whoa! Stop it! This is horrible! Turn that off! <laughs> that was fun. Oh, the key master is not happy, and I'm very, very afraid to go back up, but I feel like we have to. This is certainly working, though. Oh, he's put on the headphones to try and block out the noise. Can we still talk to him? I still can't believe what you did. You'd better believe it. But do so, I need... Yes, we can. But with those headphones in, 
You probably can't hear very well anymore. I have a plan. He didn't like it when we rang the bell. And when we rang the bell, the reverend moved. And he's sitting pretty close to the reverend. This is a terrible idea. This is a really terrible idea. If this doesn't work, he's probably going to come up and... Well, it's probably not worth thinking about, but... We have to try. Let's try ringing the bell one last time, shall we? I hear you don't like noise! Well, have all the noise your ears can stomach! That doesn't even make sense, because ears and stomach aren't linked like that, but who cares? It's time for the ding-dong of revenge. What was that scream? I think I know what that scream was. He's gone. And I think I know where he's ended up. Down, down, here. Oh no. I didn't mean to do that. Or did I? All this can't be true. Wake me up, Harvey. Please? Harvey? Harvey? Say something! I'm sorry, Edna. I just had the feeling... as if I... What? What's up? Do you remember something? Oh, nothing. We... we've got more important things to do right now. Take the key and let's get out of here as fast as we can, okay? You took the words right out of my mouth, Harvey. Home. Finally. What now? I can remember things. But just little details. I used to set ants on fire in that flower bed over there. In this pond, I used to blow up frogs. It all feels smaller than it used to. Let's try to get inside. Then we'll look for my room. I used to write a diary. Maybe it's still there. I'm sure I'll be able to remember everything with that. You're hiding something, Harvey. You remembered something, but you didn't tell Edna what it was. What is it that you remembered? Why won't you tell her? What is there we can interact with here? Oh, there's quite a lot of things, including the moon! Let's start by interacting with the moon. That is no moon! It's a space station! These interactions are probably going to be exactly the same, and we still have the antioxidant! We could have lost that in the previous area, but we've still got it. Later. I'll have to put an end to Dr. Marcel's game first. Then, I need to become an astronaut. Oh yeah! Finally, I'll need to find a way to overcome the deadly radiation of the Van Allen Belt. That's a lot of things you'll need to do. Also, those were different interactions. Ow! That was the same, though. I'd rather not. That's the same, too. Even em- And that's the same as well. Harvey? Look, Harvey. The moon. Ow! Ow! And that's also the same, but best to be thorough, considering we got a different interaction, uh, with the pen. The moonlight twinkles mysteriously on the blade of my mallet. Ooh, that's a new interaction as well. Why? So I don't pinch myself on the points of the crescent? That's not new, though. Won't fit in, I'm afraid. No. Alas. Also, uh, Harvey didn't say anything there. He's being a lot more quiet than usual. I'd rather not. Fair enough. I admit it would look... That's the same. Even if I could, I wouldn't do that. That's the same, too. Pays to be thorough. This signature cannot be forged. What about the key? My key is sparkling like fairy dust in the moonlight. Sparklingly. Harvey didn't say anything there, either. 
You really are hiding something, aren't you? The left side could use a little polish. Alas, we cannot reach. I want to be the first woman to cut her toenails on the moon. Let us interact with the door and the mailbox. We'll start with the mailbox. I used to throw firecrackers in here on the 4th of July. I don't think your father appreciated that. Will you forgive me? Uh-oh. Seems like it still won't talk to me. Although the last firecracker incident was ten years ago. To be fair, you did throw firecrackers into it. It's full of unsolicited election campaign flyers. I don't want them. But we could add them to our inventory, Edna. It's full of unsolicited election campaign flyers. I don't want them. Fair enough. We're not getting them. Also, no music but the wind and sparkliness and a few drums. Does this mailbox remind you of anything, Harvey? We used to hide Alfred's lunch in there. I think I can still smell the rancid liverwurst. Ugh. Let's use the mallet. Yippee! Mayhem! No, Harvey. Yip! Yippee! No mayhem? Really? I suppose this is your house. Makes sense. I don't have anyone to write to anymore. Everything will turn out just fine, Edna. I'm not so sure about that anymore, Harvey. I will send back all the things we ever stole as soon as we put a stop to Dr. Marcel's game. To be fair, we don't actually have most of those items. They're probably scattered about the road and by the uh, wreck of Dr. Marcel's car. Don't mail that to him. He's probably not going to appreciate it. We used to open Mattis's mail with steam. There was rarely anything interesting, though. For the most part, it was bills. And later, a lot of past due reminders. Boring stuff that made even worse paper airplanes. Oh dear. That doesn't sound like things were going very well. As soon as we put an end to Dr. Marcel's game, I'll write a postcard to my friends in the asylum. And I'm sure they'll appreciate it. Not necessary. The ravages of time have almost completely eaten away the mail. And the neighborhood rats have done their best to help. Almost, but not quite. As soon as we put an end to Dr. Marcel's game, I'll write a postcard to my friends in the asylum. I thought I'd just check to see if there was anything different with that interaction. Oh, no signature to forge here. We'll never find another signature to forge ever again. Actually, I imagine we will, considering we still have that, uh, ability. The master key doesn't fit here. I'll need the small key for the mailbox. Oh, we don't have the small key yet. I'd rather not. The rust is the only thing preventing the box from falling apart. But it is. The screws are on the inside. And the inside is being guarded by insects, spiders, and small rodents. We won't be getting in that anytime soon. And I imagine the door is going to be an insurmountable obstacle right now. And I'm going to save there, so that I still have one save in the asylum. You never know when I might need one, just in case I want to hear any different interactions that I missed at some point in the future. All right, let's look at this door. So this is where I live. Where you used to live. You've not lived there for a very long time. Dad, are you home? It was worth a try. It will never be like it used to be, will it? No. No, it won't, I'm afraid. Hmm. Locked. I think my father always hid the key in one of the gnomes. Oh, so we'll be, uh, finding the key in one of the gnomes then. And I think I know how we're going to be opening them. It's already mine, I think. Maybe. Maybe not. Look, Harvey. We're home at last. We're not inside yet. Not yet. Give it time, though. Maybe we can break down the door. Oh, Harvey, this is our home. I don't want to destroy anything here. Not any more than it's already destroyed anyway. Yeah, ten years of not being occupied will do a lot to a house. Dad forbade me to scribble on the door. But Mattis isn't here. I wish he was. Nothing I can do will bring him back, I'm afraid. 
Do you remember when we attached the immersion heater to the handle to fend off burglars? Yes. I remember all of it now. Dad wasn't able to use his hand for a whole month. Ah, <sighs> those were the days. I'm starting to get the feeling that you were a bit of a troublemaker, Edna. And by a bit, I mean a lot. Do you remember how we used to set up traps for Alfred? Yes. I remember all of it now. A pot full of mud on the edge of the door. It should have worked. Well, it did work. Basically, yes. But the plan was for him to get hit by the mud. But it was fun anyway. The bump on his head was as big as Mount Everest. <laughs> yeah. I had a feeling I knew where that was going. Dad forbade me to scribble on the door. But Matt, I wish he... That's the same, and I imagine this one's going to be the same too. We could cut ourselves a hole through the door. Don't you have any constructive pieces of advice? No, only destructive ones. They would get us through the door, but we really don't want to destroy it. Oh, no signature to forge here. What about using the master key? This will surely work, right? Hmm, it doesn't fit here. How could it? Because it's the master key, that implies a mastery of all locks. But alas, it has again proven itself to be not useful. It isn't rusty, at least. No more than it used to be. It's still a little rusty, then. Maybe we can unscrew the door. You wish. This lock plays in a completely different league than the basement door. That it does. And so, folks, when we come back, we have the outside of the house still to explore, because we can check out the back. And then there are these dwarfs. One of them has the key. And we're going to find out which. Oh, that we are. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later. Also, they're all pointing towards this dwarf. That's raising their hand. I get the feeling that this is the one with the key. The game's being pretty obvious in that regard. Hmm. Or maybe that's all a deception. Who can say? We'll find out soon enough. Later.